Crypto Lights here, we're back with another video. And today I want to talk about DIA. Haven't looked at it in about a week, all right? And then I'm surprised to see they did get that bounce off my support line down here. And it has actually broken through my top resistance line over here. So that's good to see. Good to see that DIA is uh, coming back after its short lived pump over here. Okay. I expected when it came up. Um, at the beginning of its listing on Qcoin, it was going to kind of swing up and continue to the upside like those normal patterns that you normally see on Uniswap when a coin first gets listed. But of course, this is not Uniswap. Okay, this is Qcoin. And when when this came off here from Uniswap, you see a lot of people are going to be trying to take profits. And this, as you can see, has pushed the price down. We've got a bit of a double top over there. But now it's coming around. Okay. And not only that, it looks like it's retested support over here after breaking out of this level and could be getting ready for another push to the upside. Okay, that's on the four hour. All right, and as, as you can see on the one day, it does look very bullish, um, but it does look like it's got a double top over here as well, or a potential double top. Now it's just a waiting game to see whether this can carry on and drive to the upside and create some new support and resistance lines in this price discovery zone. All right. Now, Dyer is definitely one that um, is still being talked about a lot by people. I do see a lot of comments about it. Uh, there's a lot of positivity in regards to when I do a video on Dyer. You know, people do respond to it positively and positively, and it does seem to be attracting people to the videos okay because um obviously dia is being compared to the likes of chainlink and band for example so it's a potential competitor um not on the same level in my opinion all right but i do have a previous video on dia and um one of the uh ethereum co-founders i believe uh is advising the team as well patrick storchenegger okay so you can go back and look at my in my archives you can see a video um, that uh, is basically um, talking about that, okay? Um, <laughs> as I'm recording this video, someone's just left me a comment. Powell Kozlowski saying, hey, DIA might be breaking out soon, don't you agree? Okay, and I'm just messaging back, say, hey, dude, I am actually recording. A DIA video at the moment. Stay tuned. So that's a coincidence. All right, guys. And um, Powell Kozlowski, you'll probably see this when you watch the video. This came through as I was actually mid recording on my phone. I saw your comments. So shouts out to you. Yeah, like I said, I do. It does look like, well, D DIA has already broken up. Okay. And uh, yeah, it does look like it could be a potential continuation coming. And uh, we've got the breakout, we've got the retest. But now it's, uh, okay. One thing I just noticed on the one hour is we've just seen a bearish MACD cross. But yeah, we'll have to see how this plays out on a higher time frame. Whether we can get that big push to the upside, one thing it is lacking is volume. Okay, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, but yeah, DIA being an open source oracle for DeFi, being compared to the likes of Band and Chainlink, um, if we mirror the price action from Band and Chainlink, obviously we've seen them really shoot up from these prices as well from around about three dollars um they, they were actually lower than that. i remember in chain link uh, it was about 30 cents i believe but um yeah chain links touching the i think it's down to about 12 dollars now maybe maybe 15 dollars in fact let me just check chain link 16 dollars and 86 cents currently at the time of recording and um yeah i mean 4, 8, 12, 16. You're looking at a 300% gain from here if Dyer can reach that price, all right? But um, Dyer's still got a long way to go in regards to uh, 
you know, getting on the same level as Chainlink. But yeah, it could it could get to sixteen dollars pretty quickly um, if things do continue that way. I mean, three hundred percent is crypto. It's not it's not a long way. It's not a long way up, is it, guys? All right. So yeah, that's Daya. Um, let's have a look at the market cap currently sitting at forty five million. So obviously it's grown, and you know uh, yeah, there's potential for this to to capture at least 100 million guys come on i mean 100 200 million wouldn't be too far-fetched for dyer if it did get into the billions you know you're seeing you know massive price increases from here but it is currently a rank uh, ranking 179 on coin market cap which is uh quite decent considering it's only just got on a top tier exchange okay and uh currently sitting at four dollars and 28 cents we've looked at the total supply you can see it all there anyway and uh yeah, potential for Dyer is huge, all right? If you don't know what Dyer is, um, you can read this bit here. Go on CoinMarketCap and have a look, guys. Decentralized information asset, all right? And it deals with data and stuff like that on the blockchain, okay? And it's an oracle and, uh, you know, there's a lot of hype around the oracles at the moment. On quite a lot of exchanges, um, it looks like more than what it is at the moment because obviously, you know, it's listing the different pairs here, but still, nevertheless, on you know, quite a few exchanges, it's on KuCoin, obviously, Uniswap's got it there, Gate.io, Bitmax, Poloniex, all right, so it's on a few decent exchanges, all right, but not getting on to you know, Binance or anything like that yet. Um, it would be nice to see something like this on. An exchange like Binance or Coinbase that would definitely bring a lot of volume into this, and I reckon the price would soar very quickly if that was the case. All right, guys, currently up 20% in the last 24 hours for today. All right, guys, if you did get in, uh, in on Dyer from early, you would have had at least a 352% return on your initial investment. Okay, and yeah, Dyer is looking good, it's looking a bit better. Than what it was a week ago okay because i was starting to think we were going to fall down below this level and kind of come tumbling down but good to see that it did hold that support and it's always nice to see these curve patterns can that turn into a parabolic curve and we see a nice bull run in dire only time can tell all right but it wouldn't be out of the ordinary if it did come back down to even retest this support and bounce around that and then uh, you know we could put in a few new lines we've got a new resistance level over here um we lower the time frame yeah that will be our new resistance level okay and so yeah we need to break that level in order to see it make new uh new highs okay and we're looking at a 10 percent move to the upside uh just to do that all right guys so that's not far-fetched possibilities are there and uh, yeah that's dire okay another one i wanted to look at is ewt energy web token now chico crypto has been the one that's been bringing most of the attention to this token i've been watching it for a while now okay but this one does seem to be a bit of a gem okay ewt quite expensive when i first came across EWT it was around the two dollar mark okay and now we can see that it's twelve dollars and fifty four cents okay it's actually finding support up here up here as well it's been in a clear uptrend since its inception and it does seem to be holding up against uh holding up against the odds with um you know everything that's going on in the space right now okay uh, energy web token has been linked to things like to, 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 to people like Elon Musk or Tesla for example and that's purely based on um, you know some of the research that I've seen from Chico crypto all right but as I keep researching this coin and keep looking keep coin and keep looking at it it is always kind of high on my list as a potential competitor for um, you know some of the top performing cryptos at the moment okay it's quickly got into the top 50 okay ranked 49 at the moment okay the total supply is 48 million the market cap is only 369 million at the moment and i think with with what it's doing there's a lot of potential for it to get in the billions very soon okay 
we're looking at energy, uh, well, it's, it's self-explanatory, energy, okay? Electricity, grids, I think they've got a lot of things going on in Australia with solar panels and so on. Low carbon customer centric electricity system. The partnerships are crazy. Um, if we can find them. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so the partnerships, there's quite a lot guys, all right? And household names that I'm familiar with, okay? If we look at the energy companies now, uh, some of these I don't know, all right? But EDF Energy, okay, Eon. Um, I know I saw Shell on here. Um, Shell. Um, you know, these are big energy companies, you know? I mean, you know, energy is a very big global business. And, you know, a lot of these, you know, you, some of you guys might know in different parts of the world, especially especially in the United States. But, um, yeah, for me, I mean, these are household names. And for them to tap into uh, these companies and, actu and actually provide a service, um, you know, it's uh, on the blockchain. I mean, it's quite it's quite good. And I, I know that ICO on this actually did sell out uh, pretty quick, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, and I just think, I mean, Tesla's not, not on here, okay? But some of the connections that, um, you, you, you're probably better off watching a Chico crypto video on this because he does really deep dive um, into energy web token. He's been championing it, championing it for a while, okay? But I know um the energy sector is massive you know it's multi-billion if not trillion dollar uh, industry you know altogether uh, we all need energy we all use energy you know and, and these guys seem to have got in early with a lot of these people okay so uh, uh, uh welcome to the world's largest energy blockchain ecosystem the energy web has become the industry's leading blockchain partner for utilities grid operators renewable energy developers corporate energy buyers and others now renewable energy is obviously fast becoming you know one of the biggest you know um developments in the new world okay um that's why companies like tesla with electric cars and you know um all that sort of stuff and solar panels are only going to become more valuable in the future all right because we need alternative sources for energy okay and some of the uh, sources that we're using at the moment are becoming a bit outdated and we need to kind of move forward all right you're seeing a lot more electric cars on the road okay that means less oil and gas being used all right guys and um yeah i think energy web token is definitely um a, a good brand it's a good business um the website's put together f um, um well okay and they've got uh, i'm not i'm not gonna go through through everything on this okay so it's just just a brief on energy web token just to put it on your radar if you're not looking at it already all right guys but um yeah if you look at the chart okay if we're going purely on the chart seen a clear uptrend and it has been for ages all right guys and and you know if you go from the bottom of here okay it was launched on bitmar on on uh in may okay so may this year uh so it's quite new and quite doing quite well if you compare it with some of the pumps that we've seen with other coins this is only up around 700 percent from its inception so i mean that tells me that there could potentially be a lot more to come we see this clear uptrend we've seen no massive taking off to the upside although some of these pumps were you know pretty large all right if we go from the bottom of that one up to there it's about 100 percent all right but you know that, that's not a small pump but at the same time we're not looking at a thousand you know percent two thousand percent you know parabolic curve nothing like that's even happened in this coin yet and i reckon you know um it could be you know some fomo into this coin in the future um i mean to me it looks expensive now at 12 dollars and 53 cents only because of the fact you know psychologically i was seeing this when it was around two dollars okay and um yeah it's a, it's a bit of a pain sometimes when you go back and look at some coins but you know i'm not the richest man in the world right so i can't afford to be in every token at every time you know sometimes i get comments uh, you know people don't they don't seem to love the um, when people sell uh tokens you know it's obviously some of the hodlers out there real real horrible you got real really horrible things to say about people that sell their tokens you know but um 
you know, I'm, I'm not rich. I mean, I do watch some YouTubers and they're always talking about, you know, they bought some of this, they bought some of that, they bought some of that. And I, and I do it a little bit, but at the same time, you know, I'm not rich. Like, I, I can't afford to just whack, you know, five, ten thousand in every coin, right? And then just, you know, leave it there for years and still be able to come up with another ten thousand to put in another coin and another five thousand to put in another coin. Do you know what I mean? Like, I take it, you know, I, I don't like to be in more than five cryptos at one time you know that's i think that's smart you know yeah how are you supposed to manage all of those trades or all of those you know i mean correct me if i'm wrong guys i mean maybe you guys have got a better strategy but you know um that's just me you know keep it simple keep it small do you know what i mean focus on a few at a time because i, I ain't got eyes everywhere you know I don't have a Telegram group where I've got thousands of people in there that are just, you know, uh, professional traders and they're all calling out charts and stuff like that. And, you know, I don't have none of that. All I've got is me and my two eyes, you know. So, yeah. Energy Web Token, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments about that one. Do you think it's got potential? Okay. Have a look at it, guys. Do you, you know, I, I mean, I don't know everything about these coins, right? Sometimes I cover them. And I don't know that much about them. And someone will come in a group and they'll uh, um, on on the YouTube channel and they'll leave a comment and they say, "Well, hey, actually, um, this and that." Do you know what I mean? And I'll be like, "Oh, thanks." You know, I didn't know that. You know, I can honestly come out and say that. I I don't know everything about these coins, and you know, I help you and you help me. You know, it's 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 good for us to all help each other. To be honest, but yeah, Energy Web Token. Okay, DIA, D-I-A, Decentralized Information Asset. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, do you think they have potential? Perhaps you're still invested in DIA. Perhaps you're already invested in Energy Web Token. All right, I can't afford to be in everything at all the time, so I'm not currently in DIA. I'll just let you know that, and I'm not currently in Energy Web Token. I, I was taking profits in DIA over here. All right, guys, but yeah, that is looking uh, better. All right, guys. And sometimes I just do, I do like to sit back and wait. Okay, it's all about being patient. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to. Yeah, you might have missed a little bit of profit here, a little 60 70 percent over here by not buying the bottom of this support line. Okay, that happens. That's fine. You know, that's fine. I I can you know I can say that I am making profit in where my capital is allocated at the moment. You know, I'm in a profit. I'll be consistently in profit. Uh, for a little while now, you know, I have made small losses like today. I lost a hundred dollars. Okay uh, hundred and five dollars actually. Okay, but that's nothing compared to the gains that I've made, you know that I'm making, you know uh, Today alone, you know, and um, so yeah That's just how it goes in the trading game You got to prepared to be prepared to take those losses But don't get don't let them affect your day-to-day -day and manage your risk. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, that's it guys if you are not subscribed to the channel already please subscribe like leave a comment down below let me know what you think as we've said and I'll see you in the next video